DJI Mini 3 Pro has a lot to be desired. Different battery options for long flight time, an f1.7 lens for better dynamic range in low light, D-Cine-like for color grading, and obstacle avoidance and focus tracking. Oh, and it shoots vertical photos and videos, and also allows you to make hyperlapses. Not bad for a sub 250 gram drone, but which Mini 3 combo kit do I buy? Hi, I'm Brick Aramella, and I'm gonna make this decision very easy for you. And links to all the drone gear mentioned in this video is in the description below. So first off, if you're not sure whether you should buy the DJI Mini 3 Pro or not, you can watch a video up here where I explain who this drone is for and also compare it to DJI's Air 2S. So if you want more videos like this with all killer and no filler, consider clicking the subscribe button and bell notification. Now let's get back to the Mini 3 Pro. If you already have a DJI drone made within the last two years, you could just get the Mini 3 Pro with no RC or no remote controller. However, I think this is the worst choice and I'll explain why. This option here, the DJI Mini 3 Pro, is a better choice because you can sell the second controller on eBay and make a profit, or if you ever want to sell your other DJI drone, you can sell it with a controller and you still have the other controller for your Mini 3 Pro. Of course, if this is your first newer DJI drone, then you'll have to buy the Mini 3 Pro with a controller in order to fly the drone, so the no remote controller option is not a choice. Now, if you don't want to use your phone or tablet, the Mini 3 Pro with the DJI RC is a choice for you. By the way, at the time of this recording, this DJI RC is only compatible with the Mini 3 Pro, not other DJI drones, and the DJI RC Pro is not compatible with the Mini 3 Pro. Now that could change in the future with a firmware update, but DJI would not tell me if that will happen. Personally, I prefer flying with my iPad and sold my RC Pro that came with my DJI Mavic 3 Cine, but I know a lot of people love having a built-in screen, so if that's you, go for it. Let's move on to the Fly More kits. These kits are exactly the same except for the battery types. So they both come with a shoulder bag, four pairs of propellers, a charging hub to charge your remote controller and three batteries in sequence, 12 screws, a data cable, and two batteries. I think it's worth spending the extra money here because you'll get two batteries that fly up to 47 minutes each versus two batteries that'll fly up to 34 minutes each. In real world flying situations, these batteries might be seven to 10 minutes less than this advertised amount due to wind and how you fly the drone, etc. So having extra battery life is not only important, but it's one of the primary advantages this drone will have over other compact drones like the DJI Air 2S or the Autel Nano Plus. The 34 minute batteries do keep you under 250 grams, whereas the 47 minute batteries put you over 250 grams. But keep in mind that the drone already comes with a 34 minute battery, so you'll already have one sub 250 gram battery option if you need it. But having the 47 minute batteries will allow you to travel lighter because you don't need to bring as many batteries like for example the six batteries I use with my Air 2S because the actual flight time is so bad. Lastly I highly recommend the DJI RC N1 tablet holder. I use this with either my phone or iPad and it fits like a glove nice and snug and much better than previous tablet holders I've used and links to everything in this video is in the description below. So what am I buying? I'm going with the Mini 3 Pro with the normal remote controller and the Fly More Kit Plus which at the time of this recording is about a thousand dollars. Now this is a very reasonable price for a mini drone with such features and capabilities along with all the accessories I discussed. Now let me know in the comments your flying setup and after you get the Mini 3 Pro, consider checking out one of my online video courses where I show you step by step how to set up and fly your drone like a filmmaker or pass your part 107 license and start your own drone career. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I'm Breck Aramella. See you in the next one and remember, fly like a pro.